go. Today I'm going to be trying out what I believe to be the top three Warlock Exotics. Try the transversive steps, fading aspects, and the currency and amulets. I'm just going to run each of them one time in a rumble match and uh, give my thoughts. I already really like the transversive steps while shotgunning because they improve your speed a lot. And they also reload your guns while you're sprinting, so you can definitely uh, ape better. But the fading aspects also increase your melee range. And they uh, improve like your weapon handling and reload speed a lot too. So they're both very good. I don't usually, I don't really use the current stamina that often, but I'm about to test them out really for the first time. I, I've used them a couple times, but Rumble. not really anything I remember about using them. I just no know you get like health regen after no you melee weapons. someone or melee no kill someone. Guardian. Is this guy AFK background? Or is he terrible? <laughs> oh my map. Get the hell out of here, idiot. Yes, now show them the true meaning of war. That look easy, Warlock. This guy is AFK. Double down. I have to reload. Tragic. So stupid. With ten warlocks like you, I could turn ideas into weapons. You've taken. <coughs> I love the transition steps. First place goes to you. You can just move around so fast and ape like to your heart's content. I'm gonna pop the currency and what's on now. A lot of it was kind of free though. Those guys were bots. And the one dude was AFK, but still fried. <laughs> still counts. Hopefully, I can keep getting easy lobbies so it's not like unfair. But I'll know if there's better players, and I'll I'll weigh that in my uh, final opinion. <clears throat> the one thing about the transversive steps is they make you a lot faster. But with Top Tree Dawn and Icarus Stash, you kind of like don't need them that much. But I feel like if you're running any other super other than Top Tree Dawn. I would highly recommend transition steps while aping, like Stormcaller. <coughs> you can move so much faster with this exotic, and it kind of makes up for not having the Icarus dashes. I, I have been using <coughs> feet and aspects a lot because before, once I took the transition steps off, I was just moving so slow, like I couldn't, I couldn't do it. It was terrible. But uh, now, with Top Tree Dawn, I can kind of use the feet and aspects and make up for the fact that I don't have a, a faster sprint. Thankfully, my dog is barking now.
hopefully she'll stop barking now. <laughs> oh, never mind. The second I unmute, she actually starts barking. That's fantastic. Let's go. Rumble. Fragment. Okay. The load I'm running right now, I'm, I'm doing this on purpose. I usually use the spare rations, but I'm trying to, uh... God, I'm, the slide is so bad now. I'm trying to get used to uh, using the Dire Promise, because spare rations is going away. My shotgun didn't shoot. What's going on here? Slide is so much better with the tra Oh no, no, I shouldn't have put the transversion steps on. Place. That's happening again. I, I've moved so slow without them, I can't even handle it. I actually gonna. I can't hit some. I can't hit headshots right now. Damn. Even the strafe is slower. This is unreal how slow I am. And like a trial setting though, it's a lot easier to just like, you don't really need to be running around as much. You just pick your stash nice. to the initial peak and then kind of sit there for a little while. So the six exotic is less important. Air transition steps is less important, but you in Rumble, easy, I really like the extra movement that Double this gives down. you. But the fitting aspects is still really good. It's, it speeds up your reload a lot. It's just transition steps you don't need to reload. Not dead. Almost. I hate having to keep reloading. This guy's Let actually not real. This is their fate. Bro, my shoddy just doesn't work when I'm fighting this guy with the cringe. It's never to the side of the map, I haven't been here yet. Double down. Alright. Oh, he got lucky. Lucky headshots. I should have pushed with my hand cannon first. I didn't expect this guy to have the IQ to actually backpedal a little bit, but he did. Good for him. Oh, thanks, Icarus Dash. And yeah, if you script Icarus Dash, it's game over. You become like the slowest person on the planet without trying to switch your steps. Five minutes remaining. Poor Doritos are coming. He's having a bad day today. What's that you've got? One after another. I missed. This dude's actually not that bad, honestly. Like, he's pretty bad, but he's, uh, he's strafing a little bit. And he knows to keep his distance from a shotgunner. Which most of these retards don't. What? What? This guy is, like, only meleeing, and I'm allowing him to juke my... How am I not hitting it with my shotgun? This is concerning. My shotgun aim is, like, malfunctioning right now. Can we finish up this freaking lobby? This is so stupid. I've been sitting at 19 for like 10 freaking minutes now. I did zero damage to that guy with that shotgun shot. I had no options there. Oh my, I'm gonna freaking like lose this lobby, man. I can honestly see myself losing here. If this game keeps doing me like this. 
Okay, this guy's not real. You're first. Yeah, I'm not You're faced happy. to do this. You killed everyone. Don't do this outside the cliff. Alright. <laughs> Let's get the currency the Amazon now. That was a messy end of the match. I started off pretty strong though, so it's fun. Yeah, fitting aspects are interesting. I feel like they pair the best with sniping. Because when you're sniping, you don't really need the faster movement as much. So you don't, you don't need to close any gaps, really. It's just better to have faster handling so you can swap to your hand cannons and clean people off if you body someone. Let me, uh... What is going on here? I can't freaking see anything. Okay. So current sandwich, I still have 90 90 stats. That's pretty good. Um... I can't get enhanced hand cannon loader though unless I master work and I, I I can't do that. Yeah, that's the one. Like transaction steps and affiliate aspects both help you reload in some way. Like these make it faster and this just lets you sprint. And then once I get these on, it's just like my reload is just derp. I really hate it. <laughs> but uh that's fun. Cause the like when you melee someone with these, you know, I think you get like six seconds of just health regen. It's like you're sitting in a rift. It's really strong. It's just not really my style. I'm like slow and I don't reload fast. I, don't, I can't like see the benefit of it. In PVE, these are fantastic. I feel like you're around a strike or something. You just melee kill a few things and you're like a god. Banner fall. This is it's probably the worst map for shotgunning Rumble. that I've gotten out of the three. The enemy is What's the first everywhere. map? Is it that, uh... This idiot's back again? No one likes you, dude. Oh, I got the show, uh, the slow, the show. The slow, uh, shotgun reload, too. It sucks. Not slide into a freaking container. You make that I've really been able to put the uh, the old exotic to use yet. I'm just crapping on these kids. No, yeah, dire promise completely overwhelms me with the recoil sometimes. I was doing a decent job managing it at the start of this game, but like right there, like once that hunter dodged, there was no way I was killing him. My aim is just, I struggle so hard to hold this recoil down. It's so much worse than the spare rations. am I doing? I miss the first shotgun shot and then I take the shotgun shot the second time when I'm way too far away and then I miss all my spare ash. Yeah, bruh. Die promise shots I'm freaking throwing. Oh man. I need to pe I need people to be left one shot so I can actually you shut the enemy down. Someone's finally getting oh, heavy. No. <laughs> I think it's me. I expected someone to get it after I died. Guess not. Really? I don't know this guy. So now I have healing. Let's see how long. Yeah, you can see how long it lasts right here. That's a pretty good uh, duration. So you can see it coming into play right here. Look at that. Like, he just bodies me. I'm full health already. It's like nothing even ever happened. And when you pair it with the Celestial Fire Man, it is pretty incredible. I'm just not using it to its fullest ability, really. So I'm not used to using it. I'd rather just reload fast and be able to run around the map and kill everyone. I got my healing buff. I like how the uh, fingernails glow, it's kind of cool looking. Only five minutes left. Double down. Who says warlocks are better with books than with guns? No way I keep doing this, okay. man. 
Are you serious? Just die. Just get out of my face. <laughs> <I'm th> <laughs> I hate hunters, man. I actually can't hit them sometimes. They're just so freaking annoying with all their dodges and stuff. Ah, oh, his melee lunge juke my shoddy. I okay, that's fine. I should be able to get a uh, some volunteers here. I need to pop my super though. Try and close this one out. This guy direct shots me with the freaking withered turd. That's where I got. Oh my god, he's just going I want to get a some volunteers. No. I can feel that Controlled. You've taken everything. First place goes to you. I can't say anything. Okay. Hmm. Current sandwiches are good. They're definitely good. I, um, I'm not that great of a shotgunner in the first place, so like I don't shotgun in trials, so I'll never really use them. Um, I like the healing thing. It's just like sometimes you just one-shot people with the shot, and sometimes there's no point in meleeing. I feel like you kind of need to go out of your way if you really want to get the benefit of it. But also, like, in some of those 1v2 situations, when a guy rushes you, you get the shotgun melee off, you can reheal and fight the next, like, the next guy. I feel like it's just, like, situational, though. And if aspects aspects and transversive steps are more universal. I think what I'm going to do, I think transversive steps is going to be my shotgun exotic. And if aspects, aspects, I'll run that on the sniper still, because you don't really need the bonus movement while sniping, really. It's more of a benefit for shotgunning. I love this exotic though. I miss it. I I was farming for exotics like all of last season and a month before. And for the duration of this season, I've been turning a ton of unfocused Umbrella Ingrams to get that uh, low chance exotic drop because I unlocked that one thing in the Prismatic Recaster. I finally got the drop from that and it was a good stat roll. So I'm going to start using this again while shotgunning. This is definitely the best shotgunning exotic in the game. And hands down, when you're not on top three Dawn Blade, it is the best exotic in the game. For the Warlocks. <laughs> not not for the other classes. But uh, if it ain't aspects, top three Dawn sniping, I think that's probably the best uh, loadout. But transfer success for shotgunning is definitely the key. For sure. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm out of here.